This is Twit. Andy and Akko, your pick of the week, my friend. Uh, mine is kind of a weird one. It's an iOS simulator of the R RPN 65 Hewlett Pack Packard oh programmable my God. calculator. Um, <laughs> I want. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, this is credibly called the first pocket pro pocket computer. Uh, number one, there's something about a vintage Hewlett Packard calculator oh, with that those this. like those Lego style keys, uh, a real vacuum fluorescent display. Uh, the re reverse Polish notation. Uh, also, this was a notable calculator because it actually had a magnetic stripe, magnetic card reader that you just fed cards in from left to right. So you could like write programs probably for doing boring things like statistics, but also doing like really, really simple games and just feed it in from it would, a motor would just like suck it in and, go, and uh, read in the thing. You have, you'd have new programs. Uh, I like it because uh, uh, I have very, very, very dim memories of my dad having one of these that was bought by his company. He was an engineer and having it for a couple of years and m my being allowed to use it with his supervision mm -hmm. once at the kitchen table. But otherwise, <laughs> it was way too expensive and way too fancy for like five year old Andy to <laughs> oh, <I laughs> to get his this. get his mitts on. Um but also it's such a beautiful simulation of an object. It's like it's 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 exactly it's it's not almost like it. What I don't like these like fake calculators where and and we chose a font that is sans serif and it's got segments in it so it looks just and we, because we colored it red it looks like an LED. No, it doesn't look like an LED. It looks like an LED postscript font. This is looks exactly like those old like vacuum uh, displays that was that were in old HP calculators. Uh, and so it's really a lot. It was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I, I bought it because four bucks and I wanted something to play with. But then you find yourself, well, how do you write programs in this? And so you're, you're stupidly you're writing programs for this thing. And you can also <laughs> it also has every single one of those HP uh, program cards that was available commercially. Oh no, so, really? Yeah, what a oh, yeah. great so you, deal! And and when you and when you load one in, it doesn't just simply like load in the program. It it does the animation of the card oh sliding from God. left to right through the card reader. It doesn't make the noise of the motor. Uh, that's the only thing it's missing. But it's just such a completely satisfying experience uh, to use this as a desktop calculator. I can't. Uh, I, of course, it sent me then to eBay to find out how much these things cost on the secondary market uh, for the real things, and decided that I don't think I want to spend two hundred, three hundred dollars for a nostalgic old calculator. Uh, but this is for four bucks. That I'm, I'm definitely in. It's a, lot, it's a lot of fun for what you get. And it's RPN, right? So you have to enter. Yep. Uh, what you enter the number one, enter eight divided enter, by enter, and then yeah, and enter, and then do the operation, and then wow, and the pro well, look at this the, the the paper tape, this is so because, yep, it was, nicely it was, implemented. It was a, it was a system you could plug it into a dock that had a paper tape printer, and yeah, it was look it was quite the scene, man. Personal investment day of the week, mean standard, great circle navigation. Oh, this is you got it. You just got it. You just yeah. And, and you these are all free once you pay the three ninety nine. Yep. yep. Well, these were this, this was this was thousands of dollars worth of yeah. stuff. And oh it's, I, I'm a big an, another phrase that that I tend to come back to. I I one of the, my my favorite things in this world is something that is desperately foolish but executed at a very very high level. <laughs> And so it's like if you're if you're just gonna do hey I, I put I put my old I put my old my old calculator on the bed of my scanner and map keys on top of them okay that's lame but if you're gonna say no I'm going to make this a perfect and flawless simulation of this device almost oh to the I mean if, if this had force if an iPad had force touch it would you can even replicate that wonderful key sense uh, of an HP old calculator so Look at this it's got all the registers. Oh, yep. what kind of so what kind of programs do you write in this? Uh, it's it's an eight. I had to I had to look it up. There are still people writing. <laughs> there are resources online, but it's it's an it's a it's basically a calculator programming language that HP set up. Uh, it is not really intuitive. It's a little bit like assembler language. Uh, it's more like a it's 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 almost like a key logger really. Where it's a you're you're, you're oh, running a, key, a keyboard macro and playing it back, but <laughs> having to set it up inside your head of how to create registers and how to it's you can it's choose fun. from a vintage classic HP sixty five or a modern one because 
that increases the speed and the and the accuracy. You get more registers with the modern one, which of course doesn't exist. Uh, oh my gosh! Look at this. All the new all the features you get, you can add on, or you can say no, no. I want it to be as slow and cumbersome as the original HP sixty five. This is uh, you're right, Andy. This is a work of art. This is fantastic. Yeah. It's, Unbelievable. It's also, it's also preserving history. I, I yeah. like, I just, uh, the stuff that archive.org also does to make sure that old yes. games and old Mac software yeah. are run on web based emulators. I, it, it would have been such a horrible thing if all this wonderful work that those engineers did and also those designers did back in the 70s were to disappear because it's just not a useful object and there are going to be fewer and fewer of these things that actually oh, work. Okay. And the ones that do work, they're going to be like the, the 18th century mechanized uh, street organs uh, that used to be on every street corner but now with they've got they've all, there are only nine in the world that still work and so they're in a museum and maybe once every 10 years pbs will do a documentary and they'll take it out behind the glass and actually fire it up and make it work with this you can actually play with it and see what these things were like i, I really I, I i'm with you i i turned off everything that made it modern uh, in the in the settings because it was kind of it's kind of fun to see a calculator that has to spend a third of a second thinking about a calculation you know, where the display has to blank out for a second because it just doesn't have enough power to refresh the display if it doesn't have a number to display yet. It's just it's cool. Go to the uh, website C U V E E Q V Soft dot C H. They're Swiss because apparently they've got a uh, H P Jones because they also make. The RPN 97 Pro, which was a desktop calculator. Oh, my God. These guys are insane. This is his, they have a variety of 45, yeah. the 30, Gorgeous. look at the 35. The first scientific calculator from 1972. Yeah, clearly this, and I bet you it's this one guy. I'm, I'm pretty, be, pretty sure. Uh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Look at that. And they're all very affordable. Good pick, Andy. You got me all excited.